Here he is, CEO and founder Patrick Byrne. The strategy made him so successful. You have found Bitcoin and blockchain religion, and now he's looking to sell his multi-billion dollar business as he starts a new venture with this man, the world-renowned Peruvian economist, Hernando de Soto, both here in a Fox Business exclusive. Great to see you. This is interesting. I remember you, how you took so much flack back in 2014, and people said, that guy we knew was crazy. He's even crazier that he's accepting Bitcoin. Again? I, I, I guess it turned out well for you. It's, uh, we've made a few shekels. It's worked out for, for us, a few bit shekels along the way. So, but, you know, when we started taking Bitcoin, I said back then, four years ago, this, the main event of Bitcoin ain't Bitcoin. It's this thing called blockchain. We're going to change the world with blockchain. Which is a ledger that tracks Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, trades. Exactly. It's the, invention, it's, the, it's the invention that lets Bitcoin be possible and all these other cryptocurrencies is this thing called blockchain. That's the real innovation. And we realize we can change the world with that. We can create a version of Wall Street that no one can cheat. We can create a monetary system that's frictionless. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, and I said this four years ago, there's this crazy Peruvian economist who has an idea of how to end global poverty. Someone has to take this idea and build, someone has to take his ideas and build them on the blockchain. And you have this idea. Explain to our viewers out there, what this idea is, it involves very poor people in third world countries who live on property and in essence own it, but they don't have proof of that ownership. What do you do with that to solve world poverty? Well, a little bit what the United States did during the 18th and 19th century is recognize that they're where they are, document it properly, so it not only fulfills the function of giving you a home, but a guarantee uh, for a credit an identity, the possibility of converting it into cash as an investment, uh, limiting liability, putting boundaries around it, setting, settling problems through law rather than violence. The thing is that with blockchain, what took you, the United States, as you went in your manifest destiny towards the West, and it took you 150 years to get your act together, the gold rush and all these things with uh, Blockchain, we can do it in five, ten years. And it can unleash, you say, uh, trillions of dollars. Patrick, to the point where you have now built this gigantic business, Overstock.com, you've traveled the world, you beat cancer when you were almost gone. I've known you a long yeah. time. I've been through all his oh, mishigas, let me tell you. Um, much sound and fury signifying nothing. No, tale told enough that you years. can sell your business, which you say you want to do, and move on to help DeSoto here. Uh, but... But who, any buyers for this business? Well, listen, I'm not sure I'm going to sell it. I should be clear. We, have, we did make clear um, a few weeks ago we started a process, hired Guggenheim. There are a lot of brick-and-mortar companies and other companies who are freaking out about, about this big Seattle company. I mean, Walmart, I would think, would want to buy you guys. I'm not going to speculate. But there are lots of those kinds of people that were, were one-stop check to solve it. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, there are also some large funds, especially in Asia, but a couple in the United States. Private and equity, maybe? Private equity, either a going private or a large strategic... <clears throat> so you'd consider that? I would consider, I'm probably 50% thinking we should probably solve the problem for brick and mortar. I'm 30% thinking we should take a large strategic investor, and I'm 20% thinking go pri if we have the right company to go private with, someone who can bring something to the party and not just write a check, but can, I'm spread very thin now between Overstock Retail and 10 blockchain companies, of which is the most important. I need some help. I either have to sell something right. off and capitalize this, or I need a company like a Bain or somebody like KKR or somebody who can actually help in across this huge tableau of investments. As we finish up, Hernando, your biggest dream with this partnership you have? The biggest dream is that what works in the United States, the most successful prosperous and probably democratic country in the world should be extendable to the rest of the universe uh, and we can do it with your uh, technology and uh, it's a question simply of remembering what you did in the 18th and 19th century and with technology we can shorten the whole tragedy. I've learned anything is possible with Patrick because Patrick is an entrepreneur it. and Patrick, he's successful. Patrick, good to see you. One last question. Sure. Would you let Buff Buffett buy it? Warren Buffett, your good friend? 
Ah, there's an interesting question. Well, he does have about eight furniture chains, I remember, and I can solve all his problems. I'd rather Buffett get involved. Buffett and DeSoto and I could, could uh, solve okay. it together. All right. I gave you the idea. I want credit for that. Hey, this is the honor of my life. My, I'm going to give everything else up if I have to, to implement this, uh, this man's ideas in the blockchain. Hernando DeSoto and Patrick Byrne, the one and the only, let me tell you.